Welcome to this video. I will introduce how to plot the convolution of the two discrete time functions by handwriting. The expression is y n equal u n convolution an exponential function e minus 2n un. The first function is a unit step function and the second function is an exponential function. If we consider the system, un will be xn and the second one, the exponential function, will be the hn, the transform function hn. So the input is xn, the transform function is hn, and the output is yn. According to the system, yn will equal xn convolution hn. It will be un convolution exponential negative 2n un. How to calculate and plot the convolution of xn and hn? First of all, we could plot these two functions separately. The un function will be like this. And uh, for the exponential function, the plot will be like this. It's a decaying exponential function. In order to calculate the convolution of the two discrete time functions, we could use the formula yn equal m from the negative infinity to infinity hm times xn minus m equal m negative from the negative infinity to infinity exponential negative 2m um times u n minus m for the hm plot it will keep the same But for the unit step function, we should flip the unit step function on the y-axis first, then right shift n units. It will look like this. After we get the plot, we could calculate the multiplication part first, then calculate the sum. The multiplication part is e negative 2m um times u n minus m. From the plot, we can find that when m value is less than 0, the plot will be 0. Since the exponential part for the m less than 0, they are all 0. 0 times 1 is also 0. Here is m. 
when m greater than n, the result of multiplication is also zero, since when the m greater than n for the unit step function, they are all zero. When the m value belongs to zero to n, m greater than zero and less than n, the result of the multiplication is e negative 2m. Based on this calculation, we could uh, plot the multiplication. The multiplication plot will be like this. Next, we should calculate the sum of multiplication. So the yn will equal the sum of m from negative infinity to infinity. e negative 2m um, times u n minus m if the n value is less than zero the sum of the multiplication is zero since the sum of all zero is still zero if the n value is is zero the y n will be sum m from negative infinity to infinity exponential negative to m u m times u n minus m it just has values when the m equal zero so it will be e negative two times zero it will be one if the n is greater than zero y n equals the sum of m from 0 to n exponential negative 2m u m times u n minus m for the u m it will be 1 for the u n minus m it's also 1 so it will equal the sum m from 0 to n e negative 2m equal e 0 plus e minus 2 plus e minus 4 plus e minus 6 plus until to e negative 2n It's a geometric sequence, so the sum will be the first item times 1 minus the q is e negative 2 and there will be n plus 1 items and then uh, divided by 1 minus e negative 2 equal 1 minus e negative 2 then plus 1 divided by 1 minus e negative 2. After we get all the values of yn, we could plot it. When the n is less than 0, it will be 0. And when the n is 0, it will be 1. When the n is equal 1, it will be 1 plus e negative 2. So it's 1.13.
with the increase of the n value, the value of the y n will be larger until stable. So it looks like this. Since here the y n is a discrete function, so when the n is less than zero, we also could plot the dot point. They are all zero. Here is the final result for the yn, the convolution result of the unit step function with the exponential function. If you have any question about the plot, leave me a comment. I may help you figure it out. If this video helps you, please like the video and subscribe my channel. Thanks for your watching.